everyone today i'm going to show you how to make basala soppu coconut curry malabar spinach basala soppu is a classical mangalore and very popular dish basala soppu has a cooling and soothing properties this dish most comforting dish for summer as it helps in keeping your body cool and great for digestion you can prepare with anything it tastes great by adding crab shells prawns and chicken so let's check out how to make delicious this basala soppu coconut curry wash and soak in fru wash um, solution for five minutes and uh, wash it off under clean running water wash it for two three times and separate the leaves and the stalks like this and keep them aside Add to a dull to pressure cooker, wash several times till the washer runs clear and, and add enough water, salt, turmeric powder, close the lid and let it rest for half an hour. Pressure cook for 2-3 whistle until the dal turns mushy and soft like this. Add the basilic stock, close the lid and pressure cook for one more whistle and uh, release the pressure and open the lid. This is almost done. I'm going to transfer this to a wider dish and keep them aside. Let's prepare coconut masala. Here I have freshly grated coconut. Here are freshly grated coconut, tamarind pulp, uh, buffet masala or meat masala and uh, poppy seed, Kashmiri chilli, uh, dry Kashmiri chilli, ginger and garlic. I'm going to add this to a small chutney grinder along with onion, turmeric powder and salt. I'm going to blend this to a smooth paste. to transfer this to a larger uh, jar and I'm going to add very little water and I'm going to grind once again to get very 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 fine paste like this I'm going to transfer this to a bowl add a little water uh, remove all the masalas from this jar i'm going to add this uh, coconut masala to pressure cooker along with the cooked dal and stock pour all the masalas give it a good stir and turn on the flame let it simmer for five to six minutes add salt now we can go ahead and add this uh, basale sopu that is leaves you have to cook this at least for five to six minutes close the lid until they have wilted completely like this now add that sugar to balance the taste this is almost done now i'm going to add dry roasted shrimps this is optional this gives amazing flavor to this curry after adding uh, roasted dry shrimps i'm going to cook for two more minutes to get that flavor now i'm going to give seasoning that is tempering with curry leaves onion and mustard seeds heat oil in a pan add mustard seeds let it pop add sliced onion let it turn to golden in color once they're nice and golden add uh, curry leaves and pour this tatka over the curry. Now turn off the flame and add uh, coconut milk. You can use uh, fresh coconut milk or uh, from the store to the hot gravy. So I'm going to add this thick coconut milk. You can add fresh coconut also. 
but I always like to add this brand Cara brand coconut milk. It gives amazing flavor to the curry. And enjoy with steamed rice and shendige, papad, curd, amazing. I'm going to serve this with fish, shendige and a pickle. I hope you like this recipe guys. Love you and God bless you. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Ciao. Look at that curry. Amazing. It's just oh, too much. Too good. Can't resist. I can't help One myself. One meal a day, bus. That's I can't help it. <laughs> I can't.